Hello and welcome back everyone to BBA to Z. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use the message box function in BBA. Uh, this function is basically used to show the dialog box and uh, it also has um, uh, capability to track um, or return what the user has clicked. And there are different ways to show them like um, the type of message box and then these are the value that it returns uh, when the user click on yes it returns six it if they click on five uh, ignore it's gonna return five for instance uh, and so on so this is useful when you have to um, you know prompt the user before certain code is executed or you want to show the status of the code you know uh, that it's completed successfully and so on okay so first I'll just show you uh, you know some examples and then you can uh, definitely you know try it out yourself so I'm gonna put in the I'll just say test one then I'll say message box this is hi from Excel and then I'll say BV information so once you put a comma you'll be able to see all type of buttons that are available okay so let's first go by uh, information and then I'll say in the title I want to say um, BVA A to Z okay so let me just run this so it says this is I from Excel and then this is the title and then this is the type of button that you've selected so let's try to do another one so let's say there was an error so you want to say like um, an error offered something like that okay and then we want to instead of information we want to say the, the it's critical error for instance and so it's gonna show this up and then you the sound is also gonna be you know um, the error the error you know the critical sound okay so this uh, for example let's say you want to uh, before you run a code you want to make sure that the user is uh, you know ready to run the code by setting up certain variables and, and stuff like that okay so you can say um, let's try to use this one now that the let's try and use um, da, da, da. yes or no okay so let's say sub test three then I'll say um, message box are you sure the file is ready to be loaded for instance and then you want to say the yes no and then I'll say please confirm so if I just run this it's gonna say please confirm are you sure you wanna uh, are you okay that's are you sure the file is ready to be loaded right so yes and then I click on no and now let's say that uh, you want to return um, you want to return what the user has clicked okay so I'm gonna say dim um, user response as this is a variable and then I'll just call this uh, type a string and then you can say user response is equal to message box and then bracket open and then bracket close and then I'll say if user response is equal to BB so this part BB yes or BB now so if they've clicked on yes then I'll say this box user clicked on ok ok else no so I'm just gonna run this code now so are you sure the file is ready to be loaded yes so user click on yes if I run this code again and then I click on no it's user click on no so this is this is the part where you're gonna you know continue running the code because the answer is positive and here you might exit so you can say n or you can say exit sub okay so this is a simple way of uh, using um, uh, the message box function I hope you found this useful 
please like the video and then uh, if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me I'll attach this uh, link in the video description uh, thank you so much for watching bye bye now